Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Hi everyone, I'm Don from 1AAuto.com. In this series of videos, we're going to be focusing on vehicle diagnostics and maintenance tips. We hope that you find it helpful, and when you need parts for your car or truck, think of 1AAuto.com. Thanks. In this video, we're going to talk about checking for draw on your car. Uh, the reason why you do this is if your battery keeps going dead overnight or within a few days, it could mean that you've got uh, a light that stays on or an aftermarket radio um, glove box uh, light that stays on when it shouldn't be on. And every car has its own preset amount of draw that it can have on it at, at any certain time. So just because the car is off and the key's out, doesn't mean that the battery is not being used by a control module or something like that. And it usually takes several minutes for the car to, quote, go to sleep, which means that the control modules settle down and they stop drawing. Well, when they don't stop drawing, that being a light or, uh, say, a faulty control module, that's when you're going to get a draw and your battery's going to discharge prematurely. So what we're going to do now is walk you through the steps and how to do it. In order to do it, you'll need to know where your battery is, a couple vice grips, and a multimeter. All right, so we're gonna do this on a 2006 Jeep Liberty, and it's gonna be the same operation for pretty much any car out there. Uh, you're just gonna need to locate your battery, and we're gonna need to disconnect the positive terminal. Uh, before you do that, make sure that you've got a multimeter handy. You're gonna wanna set it up like this. Um, we're gonna be switching it over to the 10 amp setting, and uh, so I'm gonna use a 10 millimeter socket wrench. Remove this. I'm going to tuck this out of the way and I'm going to put a positive lead right here. I'm going to use a vice grip. Okay, keep that out of the way. I'm use my other vice grip and put this on here. Okay, you can take your multimeter, switch it on, and you're gonna see your draw. So we've got 0.16 amps of draw at this moment. We're gonna show you what happens when we open up a door and a dome light comes on. So I've just switched on a dome light. You can see how that's had an impact on it. Draw's gone up to an amp, three, four. See what happens when we've got two dome lights on. And it should have doubled. So this is an unacceptable amount of draw. You don't want to have nearly two amps being drawn out of your car when you're not in it. Um, now let's Take those, let's shut those lights back off and we'll watch it power down to where it's an acceptable amount. And like I said before, it's going to take a little time and you can see different modules are starting to go to sleep. And before long, we'll let this sit for another few minutes. We'll see what it's uh, at, uh, at sleep mode amperage draw is. So now we've waited a little while, we haven't touched anything, we haven't opened any doors to, to start up any modules or, or waken them up. And you can see from here that you've got 0 0.03 amps and that's really a good, that's an acceptable amount of draw. That's not going to draw um, too much from the battery while, uh, while it's off, uh, so that's good. Now what we're going to do is we're going to show you if you do have a draw that stays constant, that's too high, we're going to show you how to try and find it. All right, so now let's diagnose the uh, draw. I set up a little bit of a simulation. I turned on a courtesy light in the back, okay, to simulate maybe a control module, a radio that doesn't, uh, that's pulling a draw even when it's off, a uh, glove box lamp. So that's our draw right now. You can see it's 0.8 on the multimeter, which is a sizable amount of draw that will kill your battery. So now, in order to do it to start, I'm going to leave this door open, but I don't want the control modules to think it's open. So I'm going to, I'm going to lock it, okay? And I'm going to make sure that everything else that could possibly be off is off. If the hood has a light underneath it, shut your hood. Just make sure that everything, doors are closed, keys are out of the ignition. So we see our draw. Let's locate our fuse box. And we're going to pull out 
each fuse until we see the multimeter go back down to its acceptable level. Put it back in, pull it out, put it back in, still at the high levels. So nothing attached to these circuits so far is pulling that draw. Still nothing. Keep going. Keep going. On this one. Oh. And you can see from that, it's gone down to its correct level. Now you're going to want to reference your handbook, owner's manual, or if it's imprinted on the side of the panel on your um, fuse box, you can look at that. And as it turns out, it sure is the fuse for interior lights. So we know, and we found that draw. So it could be for you radio, like I said, any kind of module, this at least points you in the right direction. And I'm going to wrap it up by shutting off my multimeter, disconnecting leads and reinstalling the battery. We hope this video helps you out. Brought to you by 1AAuto.com, your source for quality replacement parts and the best service on the internet. Please feel free to call us toll-free, 888-844-3393. We're the company that's here for you on the internet and in person.